Welcome to PG Tech Tips. In today's video, we will be discussing the just released Android N preview build number one on the Nexus 5X and and um, Nexus Player. Stay tuned if you really want to learn more. All right. So about a few days ago, I believe the seventh or eighth of March, Google just kind of quietly released Android N preview build. Which is very strange because it's not Google I.O. Google I.O. is in May this year, I believe. So, I don't really know why they did it, but they did it. So, here are some of the newest, keenest features and just a general review of it. <clears throat> First off, you can see um, on the main screen, it doesn't look that much different. The app drawer is virtually identical, if not exactly identical. Um, just pretty much everything is identical when, just when you're just looking at it. And then, when you scroll down to view your notifications, it is completely different. It's completely redesigned. It still has kind of that gray material design look, except smaller icons that spread out pretty crazy. It, um, you can see I'm part of the beta program right now. And you can scroll over now and see all these other icons that you can add. You can invert colors, which I, I kind of like, whether it's useful or not. There's night mode, thank goodness. Data saver, which is pretty cool. And night mode, um, first of all, you can enable um, uh, UI tuner still, which is cool. But in night mode, um, you can use Android dark theme. You can adjust the tint so it ends up really weird, but it's good for your eyes at night. You can adjust the brightness. Um, you can have it turn on automatically depending on location and time of day. You can calibrate the display, which is really cool. You can, um, they have a couple other things. You can, which is the biggest feature, which I'm so happy they enabled, is multitasking split screen. It's about time, Google. It's about time. They have that, which is really nice, and they've got a couple other things you can goof around in there. I highly recommend it so far. It's not stable. It has a couple weird little bugs here and there, but I'm probably going to use it as a daily driver from now on. It does its job, and I don't really need much more. Um, uh, something really cool is in the settings. It now lists in detail what each setting is doing at that very moment, and that is nice. I haven't really noticed too much craziness going on um, anywhere else. Um, I did notice in battery, uh, battery, yeah. Um, you can now just turn it, um, battery saver on directly from it instead of having to do this weird tapping thing in the corner. And it also shows you if you're using the same amount of power you've been using for the last little bit, it'll show you how long you have left for um, battery life, as you can see right there. Nice. Other than that, it seems pretty normal to prove I'm running Android N. There you go, Android N, March security patch. And what's pretty depressing is if you go into the little hidden Easter egg that they always have, it just shows N and a nice little ribbon. And then if you enter into the little game thing that they always have, it just takes you to the normal one, albeit a different color, so that might tell you something, but I, I don't know. Google why you do this to us. Um, that seems to be some of the main things. You can enable a uh, swipe gesture up, so when you swipe um, from the uh, recent apps thing uh, button, you can enable multitasking and it'll open up the tabs that you can use for multitasking or you can just go to the top, press and hold and scroll to the top of the window and then you can resize it however you want for the one, especially ones optimized for that and you can choose your next app, let's say I want to do YouTube and phone settings and you end up with YouTube and phone settings pretty nifty and then to get rid of it all you do is hold the recent apps icon, and it'll go to the app that's on the top. Pretty cool. 
other than that, I don't really see much difference in uh, Android N so far. It's mostly all under the hood system tweaks that really are making Android a lot snappier. I mean, it's for the Nexus 5X, it wasn't a crappy phone when it was released, but it was always buggy. And then there was the March security update, which also made it snappier. And this has both of them. And so the camera has zero lag and no issues anymore. So it's just kind of bumped all of the improvements fantastically for this phone. There are a few little weird things like pop-up settings and whatnot will end up being really shrunken. You can't do anything and then sometimes they'll be very normal. So you just gotta look out for that and I think that'll probably be fixed in um, the beta version of this because this isn't still an alpha stage. So I wouldn't recommend using this for daily driver. I'm just going to because I'm lazy and don't really want a flashback and uh, I don't really need it. So um, Next, we have the Android TV. All right, so here we have um, the new build put into Android TV. And on the surface, you're not really going to notice anything different. You know, it just looks pretty similar. I did notice this thing where you can click to type, so you can type it instead, which is neat. I don't know if that was in the previous one. I just haven't noticed it so far. Um, in settings, they've completely redesigned it, so it's this weird side tab thing which is kind of strange and I don't know if I necessarily like it I kind of like the other thing but I think it's also let's, let's test it out here because you can have huh uh here you can have that playing in the background I wonder if you can Oh, I see. So you can access settings while something's playing in the background. Okay, that's a little bit different. I like that, actually. It gives you more um, use out of it without having to do anything, anything else. I did also notice um, some stuff in display, actually, and home screen. Home screen, I'm not sure if this is new, but you can organize your apps and whatnot. I don't remember that being in the previous uh, Android 5.0, 6.0, but it's here now, so cool. It's in accessibility, and it's high contrast text, which is really strange because here, let me zoom you in there, and come on, go ahead and focus. There. So when I enable it, it becomes very high contrast, and I kind of like it, actually, especially for videos. It makes text a lot easier to see. Um, you can have captions, which is nothing new. The display will look like that. You can have other display options. You can change languages, black and white, white on black. Whoa, what the? Oh, okay. Kind of confused there for a moment. That's neat. I don't think if I've seen that before. Granted, I haven't really been looking for it so there's that what is switch access um so there's that and you can see it very clearly um there's nothing really new in here i haven't seen anything tremendously redesigned or crazy i mean you can go hey what's going on and it looks a little bit different when it's searching, but that's just about all on the uh, Nexus player. I think it's mostly under the hood tweaks. Um, that's all for this video. Thank you for joining me. This is PG Tech Tips signing out.